Hi, I'm doing a video on YouTube for a 400 amp meter base with two parallel lines or parallel lines that come in from the uh, transformer that come down the driveway and into uh, our temporary meter box right now, which is here. And then there, here's the parallel line. So there's three wires here and there's three wires here. Uh, there's a neutral and two hots, neutral and two hots. And those are gonna be going to the 400 amp uh, meter base, as you see here. And then two disconnects, one for the shop, which is behind this, and then one for the house, which will be built later on. Uh, as you can see, there's nothing coming out of this. This is the house panel. It's got a little sticker here that says service disconnect. That is required by code to have that label, as well as the shop. Same thing with the service disconnect label and these are all wired with four aught aluminum wires uh, with no locks uh, and torqued down to whatever the specs are in each box um, this meter base will have the wires coming up the parallel lines coming up and in, into the ditch and into the meter box up and around here You'll have two hots, two hots, and two neutrals. And this line here, this hot, goes, the meter will go from here to this disconnect, and then from here to this disconnect, and then another second line hot wire goes from here to this disconnect, and then to this one. Same with the neutrals, one from, from here to here, and then one from here to this disconnect there is a grounding wire that's a number four bare copper wire that is connected to a grounding rod on that end that is eight foot into the ground and runs along here six foot apart there's another grounding rod right under this dirt that copper wire runs from that rod to this rod it's not disconnected in any any manner. It's straight line all the way up into this box, into this lug. And then from this second uh, part of the lug, it goes through the meter base. It's not touching the meter base. That is not required to be on this meter base. There's no grounding uh, rod connection in here. Go straight through here to this disconnect. These are all, all these panels are mounted with a piece of girt and then a, a piece of channel. So there's a girt that runs behind here, up straight up and down. There's two pieces. And then there's pieces of channel. One that goes across the top from girt to girt. And then a, a piece this big on the bottom that goes straight up and down. And those are mounted with a nut that runs through this channel and then to this mounting bolt and i ran these little pieces like this straight up and down on these boxes at the bottom because as you can see here the the wiring goes straight through so that if i ran the channel this way it would be in the way of these wires going through so i ran them up and down so these these panels are on here solidly and so you on this uh, box right now, this disconnect, I have a panel behind here. So I do have a grounding or a ground wire that runs from this neutral to the box inside, which I'm gonna show you right now. So the wiring comes from the disconnect outside up and over to here, to this panel. This is a 200 amp panel. And the grounded, grounded wire comes through here and onto this ground bus. This ground bus I had to purchase separately. It cannot touch the neutral wire. Normally there is a green screw that goes into here and, and connects this panel to this neutral bar. And since there is a separate disconnect outside, that has to be separated. This ground wire does not connect to this neutral uh, wire. 
So you can see the neutral wires will connect to these neutral buses, but they do not touch this. This does not touch that. And here are the four or the four aught wires that are connected to this box with no lux, and they are torqued to the spec specs on this box as well as the boxes outside. That's all I have.